In today's video, we are going to learn uh, why we always lose on binary or derive.com. And the first reason will be internet speed. So basically when there is low internet speed, we will basically lose our trade. Number two will be virtual private network. We need to be connected to VPN for us to change our IP address because the broker usually uses the IP address to be able to monitor our trade behavior. And then number three will be the use of incognito tab. We need to trade using incognito tab to reduce the chances of uh, the cookies sending the signals or information to our broker. Because once the broker knows our behavior and strategy of trying to trade then he comes in to manipulate the trade by extending the period of time where the bot requires to execute the trade but before we jump into today's video please ensure you hit the like button subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and leave a comment in the section below and by doing that you will be in the in, uh, in the draw to win my super bot and this is one of my best bots. I've developed videos, uh, many of them concerning the me trades on almost every kind of trade type. So you will be a winner for that if you leave a comment in the section below. If you'll not be a winner, I will still give you a free bot. Uh, more basically, I've been giving out even odd bot and I made a video on that. So, please. so I'm going to use this website to pick my winner. So I'm going to pick the link here uh, from here and then drop it here, uh, paste, and then uh, look for the winner. Let it load the comments and then pick our winner. And our winner is Chris Karim. So what you need to do, Chris Karim, uh, go in my uh, link in the description, then you'll find my email there. Email me with this uh, particular email, with this particular name, and then I'll be able to give you my super bot for free because you're a winner for me today. Uh, so without wasting much time, now let's jump into today's video. So 90% of uh, traders only lose their trade on binary or derive.com. Uh, uh, why? Because uh, the house will always win. And the win you get, uh, it usually means that someone else has lost somewhere. And the broker, they usually don't own their own money. So you have someone else has to lose somewhere before they now give out the money after someone has lost then they give to the winner but basically what usually happen is that 90 percent they usually lose and they use that money to pay now the brokers it will be very tragic tra uh, tragic if all the traders win because then the broker will not have anything to present to uh, the, those who have won okay so uh that's quite very important for you to understand. Number two, uh, most bots will always uh, work well, more basically on the first day or if you're using a new account. But uh, after the first day when you trade with it, uh, the subsequent days, the bot will start losing. Or if you are a new account, the bot will work well on the first time and it will start losing as you continue. Uh, why does it lose? It's because the broker uh, is able to read the algorithm of the bot and can be able to manipulate it. So the broker actually seduces you by either giving you some more wins so that you'll be full around that uh, you can still make more money. So through that, then you will strike somewhere and then you lose a lot so just like when a visitor comes to a home the first thing they do they will treat him well or her with some quite very warm welcome but uh, on the subsequent days then the visitors becomes a very normal person in that particular home and that's what usually broker does to 
the new uh, the new traders okay so uh, I know some developers who don't sell bots because they know when they sell their bots then the the high chances of the bot not working becomes very high why because uh, of losing uh, the, even the broker himself uh, learning this, the strategy and the behavior of how that bot works so they don't sell specific uh, bots now the broker will always study your trade behavior using what we call cookies and IP address and the trading history and we'll be looking into that in detail so the trend uh, they usually manipulates the trade so through that most of the uh, bot developers will not be able to tell you the truth concerning that so they will give you a bot and when you start losing they will recommend to give you another powerful bot but uh, in all in all the bot will always lose just as i explained in the first day the bot will work well but on the subsequent days the bot will start to indicate many many losses so that's what we need to do so for us to be able to minimize uh, losses then we need to put things in place and the first thing we said was internet speed so you need a high internet speed so i have a document here i prepared for you and i want to explain to you uh, much of the details in this particular uh, word document so there are these terms that we need to define one of it is upload speed then you have download speed and then you have latency so we i want us we test our internet speed then you'll understand what i'm talking about so let's google internet speed test so then come use this first link and run your internet so the best recommended internet speed should be uh, 20 megabytes per second for download and then uh, 5 megabytes per second for upload and then latency should be at least uh, below 45 milliseconds okay so let's uh, this run fast so we have uh, download at 9.15 megabytes per second and then upload is 1.28 megabytes per second for upload so this is a bit very down and you are both may experience some lags. The latency is also not good. I said it will be below it one. So let's go to this document. So uh, we recommend at least 20 and download speed to be at least 5 and latency to be around uh, its MS, not milliseconds. So I want to define these terms. Uh, we also have ping. So a ping is just a packet internet or internet network dropper. It's a basic internet program that allows a user to test and verify if the particular destination IP address exists and can accept requests in computer network administration. So you need uh, a minimum of uh, at least 45 milliseconds is good and having it to up to 115 to 100 is fair but uh, uh, for this one you may experience a lot of occasional lags and application performance losses and this is where you always see the boat is just stagnating in one place when you have such an experience while good ones then you'll have a uh, few losses because the bot will be able to execute the trade in real-time execution so losses will be very very minimal and then there is what you call latency is the literal time it takes for a packet of data uh, to go from its origin origination to reach destination okay the measurement of latency is measured in millisecond just 50 millisecond of latency a time of less than one tenth of a second can result in poor network and application performance okay while ping uh, 
there is a sum which shows ping is the signal that sends from one computer to another on the same network so latency is the time in millisecond that it takes for the ping to return to the computer so latency is the measurement of the entire round trip on that signal while ping is just one way then uh, the lower the number the faster the connection so uh, on latency is uh, the two rounds it's like two rounds for ping and ping is just one round for a packet to leave point a and reach point b while for latency is uh, uh, the, for a packet of data to go from point a to b and back to a okay so when you have lower number of uh, latency then that means the faster the connection okay so but if you experience that your latency is very high and then what you need to do is to reset uh, your reset your com your computer by restarting it or resetting your wi-fi router and rebooting your device or computer as well so resetting your router periodically will also reset your dns cache and discard data that is unnecessary taking up space so that is uh, some technical terms that i wanted you to know so when you are looking at your internet speed what you need to look at is the download uh, download speed and then upload speed and then latency which we have said is just similar to ping okay so if you have good internet speed then uh, it will help the bot to do analysis on time while the bot uh, well, the low internet speed may cause the bot to be late on opening trades, position on time, and entering into unprofitable contracts. So, uh, for you to be able to trade well and avoid a lot of losses, then you have to check on your internet speed, which will be very, very high. Okay. So the second thing we need to do is to ensure our VPN is on and a VPN is just a virtual private network uh, is a service that encrypts your internet traffic on a secured network to protect your online identity and not hide your IP address and shield you online uh, your online data from third parties so vpn is uh, vpns use real-time encryption and sends user internet data through a secure vpn tunnel to minimize the possibility of your tracking that uh, tracking what they do online okay so how does it work when you connect to vpn service it authenticates your client's device such as smartphone with the vpn server and applies encryption protocol to all your internet data so vpn service then creates uh and so on so uh the best browser that i usually like using is uh, uh, uh this one opera mini because opera mini has vpn so when we come here uh here then you realize that it has vpn and now currently i'm connected to america and this is my uh, ip address okay this is my ip address of which my current one is supposed to be uh, starting with 152 okay so it changes your ip address and i can also change even to another place let me show you uh, I can change to Europe. Uh, so I can change to Europe. So it changes the IP address. I can say to go to Asia. And note the last digit was uh, so right currently is 12. Let's move to America and see. So you see the last digit is 6. So it, uh, it changes. So IP address identifies you as a unique person on the web. Uh, with different uh, IP address so we can be able to pinpoint a specific person on the internet using your IP address but how is it significant in our trading so the 
changing your IP address actually confuses the broker because he cannot bookmark you and no so it's recommended that you keep on changing the IP address and uh, now and then because it gives you an advantage on that uh, there are some IP ad uh, there are some VPN that might reduce your internet speed for example I was using this uh, proton v uh, VPN and uh, this proton VPN uh, is uh, another good uh, let me, let's open as I explained to you so it's also another good uh, it might it usually increases or sometimes reduces your internet speed so you should be very careful with the kind of VPN you're using okay so but uh, basically the main reason why you should trade with VPN is because it changes your IP address and the broker might not be able to monitor uh, your behavior of logging in and out. Now, the third one was uh, we need to trade in incognito tab. And uh, let me explain to you what incognito tab is. So, uh, when brow browsing in incognito tab means that your activity data is in saved on your device or to Google account, so you are not signed into. So for example, you may use incognito mode to shop online for birthday gift of a family member who shares your device. If you, do, if you don't sign into the Google account, your shopping activity will not appear in Chrome browsing activity and won't be saved on your Google account. So each time you close the incognito window, it discards any site data. I want you to take and cookies associated with that browsing session. So Chrome doesn't tell the website, including the Google, when you are browsing privately in incognito mode. Okay. So uh, what incognito mode doesn't do is the following. It prevents you from telling website who you are okay if you sign in in any website in incognito mode that site will know that you are one browsing and can keep track of your activities from that moment two it doesn't prevent your activity or location from being visible to the website you visit your school employer or your internet service provider so it cannot shield you from showing your IP address. It will show your IP address, but it may not be able to give the information. So it can't hide your IP address. The only thing that can hide your IP address is uh, VPN. Can't hide, can't change. Okay. Then the third thing is prevent the website you visit from serving ads based on your activity during an incognito session. So after you close the incognito window, website won't be able to serve ads to you based on your sign out activity during closed sessions. So this is very key when we are trading because uh, one, uh, it will prevent from telling uh, it, uh, it won't. Pre so these are the things that the incognito tab do doesn't or cannot be able to do that. So another thing is that uh, uh, when you do this, so basically there are two things you need to know and I want to show you how to go to incognito tab. So you will come here and you will find incognito tab here. Okay. So this is how incognito tab looks in uh, basically Chrome. And so uh, there's nothing like uh, if you come here, you can't find any data uh, that remains. Okay, so if you come to privacy and say clear cache, uh, you realize for the previous window by a month that I was in incognito. Okay, this is incognito tab. So here, there is nothing like, which takes me somewhere. 
So this one, when you browse anything, it won't leave any traces immediately you leave here. Okay. So, and that is actually what it does. So Chrome won't save the following information. Your browsing history, cookies and site data, information, interest, in forms. So your activity might still be visible to website you visit, your employer or school, your internet service provider. Okay. So uh, I think this is quite very clear. So in this one, you can still also log in twice and there'll be no problem. Uh, but let me go back there so but you can still do it manually if you want to clear your uh, cookies and history then you just come here and then clear because now we need to free up 309 mb uh, some sites may load slowly and next blah blah so uh, this is cached image and files then you have cookies and other site data and this is what is more important and this one so you just clear before you start your trades just clear before you start your trades okay so uh, that's how you can do it so it's quite significant in summary that before you start trading number one ensure you check your internet uh, speed uh, basically the upload and the download and the latency number two ensure you put on the vpn and you have different kinds of VPN of which you can choose. So I was showing the, you this one. Uh, we have no Proton VPN. Proton VPN. This one gives you uh, only three: uh, Japan and Netherlands and USA. Okay. And then if you use Chrome, if you use uh, sorry, uh, this one is Opera. The Opera has a way you can install the VPN and you can be able to change to different uh, continents and locations. Okay, so uh, those are the information you need to have before you start trading on binary.com.